<laughs> I'm joking because of the joke the teacher Lee put in the chat, but I'm not going to read it aloud. <laughs> Probably I will remove it from the chat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Delete it if you want to, Ivan. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to our movie club. Today we continue with our favorite episode, <laughs> not favorite, favorite series of Twilight Zone from the past. Sergey, do we still love it? Twilight Zone? Yeah. <laughs> me too, me too. <laughs> okay, nothing changed in this regard. And I like this picture that artificial intelligence made for us. <laughs> so it's a kind of a host of Twilight Zone. And he actually wrote his name somewhere, right? In the chat, I think. Yeah, Rod Serling. Serling, yeah. And and he's now a boy, right? Which which leads us to to the second episode. Let's start with the first one, right? <laughs> Uh, will the real Martians please stand up? <laughs> Is it a real name, teacher? Right? Of the episode? Or we change it? Uh, that's the name of the episode. Remember I posted that that's a, a meme based on, or a pun based on a game show we used to have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I should put it in our chat as well. Yes, Sergey? Yes, I remember the song of Eminem. Please stand up. Please stand up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tichely might be not aware because he doesn't listen uh, rap, I think, but it was a favorite line <laughs> in Eminem. <laughs> but it wasn't, it wasn't Martian here, right, in this song. <laughs> we used to have a game show where three people would come on the stage and they would all introduce themselves as the same person. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm John Smith. I'm a plumber. Hi, I'm Bob Hope. I'm a plumber. Hi, I'm Thomas Edison. I'm a plumber. And two of them are lying, and one is the real person. Can, can well, I guess they, all, they all use the same name. I'm John Smith. I'm a plumber. Yeah. Hi, I'm John Smith. I'm a plumber. Hi, I'm also John Smith. I'm a plumber. <laughs> and you got to figure out which one is the real John Smith. And at the end, the host says, will the real John Smith Please stand up. I see. So this this is a line from that game show. You've got to guess who is real, who's a Martian, and who's a human. Yeah. Are you allowed to ask questions in this show? So what was the technique? How you distinguish yeah. who is cool? Yeah, yeah. The the contestants can ask him any question, and I if see. they ask, you know, if the guy's a plumber and he gives a stupid answer, you can guess maybe he's not really a plumber. You know. Yeah. So. Yeah. So if I be pretended that I'm a plumber, probably I should know something about, you know, diameters, inches, pressure, exactly. something yeah. like this. So they're allowed to ask any questions they want to help them discern who's the real plumber. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's, 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 it's a little bit funny, uh, but this show is pretty old, right? Probably before this Twilight episode, I think. When I was a teenager, Ivan, <laughs> <laughs> I watched these as a teenager. You know, I play this show twice a month at least because you know now in IT salary is uh, high, salary is pretty good, and many people apply to job without being really engineers. <laughs> so I have to, you know, play this game many times on my job interview. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, I, I had a I had a phone interview for an IT job one time, and they said, "What is a NIC?" <laughs> yeah. And I said, "Network information card." Yeah. Okay. We're just making sure you're a you're a technical person. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Yeah, funny, funny. It was funny. Yeah. Okay. Let's start with the questions. Leila, could you please help us with the first one? Um, setting the stage one. Yep. How does the episode introduce the situation and characters in the diner? Discuss the initial reactions of the characters when they learn that there might be a Martian among them. Uh, I mean, what can I say? The bus was about to go, but due to the snow and the weather conditions, they stopped uh, at the diner. And um, <clears throat> I mean, everybody was different from each other, you know, two couples, different people. And uh, 
the police officer and his, uh, I think, well, what can I say? I don't know. His man, they came and uh, they told them that there is a, there was a Martian and uh, nobody was shocked in one. I mean, if I were there, I would be shocked. <laughs> and uh, I don't know, the lady, the dancing lady, you know, she's very cool. And the couples are just giving, you know, hugs to each other, try to comfort each other. And the old man was weird. And uh, yeah, I but, don't know. But wait, let's think about this. Why they saw that there is a Martian among, among them? The thing is that the, at, the, at the beginning of the movie, sorry, story, um, two police officers happened to see a kind of UFO or a flying saucer, so a, an alien uh, mm -hmm. just came. This was their, you know, idea. And then they saw the traces and they followed the footprints mm -hmm. and they came to the diner. Yeah. So it's UFO, right, Teacher Lee? Yeah, I was U thinking about it. Mm -hmm. Teacher Lee, do I have to say UFO? No. You must say UFO. Yeah, because uh, in yeah. Turkish we say UFO, in English we say UFO. UFO. No, no one will understand you in English. It's <laughs> UFO. Also, mm -hmm. oh, I have to say UFO from now on. Correct, yeah. in English. Okay. Actually, police officers, they usually work with a like a couple, right? So there are two usually police officers. Usually, in case one gets you know shot or hurt, yeah. there's someone to call for help. Yeah. How they call each other partners, or what is the word for? Yeah, this? partners. Yeah. Partners. Okay. So it was a police officer and his partner, right? Who got this, yeah. got yeah. this call, got this evidence, and they try to find what is wrong. But so, I, I, I think Lele has mentioned this, but what is wrong right that the driver of the bus he claimed that he had only six passengers right yeah but there were seven people there seven people. one of them could be the martian right yeah and i can't believe that six people i mean that's not many people six people can't look at each other and say oh he wasn't on the bus come on yeah it's yeah. not really believable right so at least <laughs> if if this, let's say, if this drive drive was for many hours, so you, you will you will remember who who is in the bus, right? But that that um, man said uh, the weather was really gloomy, foggy, and mm -hmm. dark. We couldn't see the passengers. Yes. So in the movie, they try to find kind of an excuse, right? So it was snow. Yeah. It was a night. Everyone was <laughs> tired, so we did not pay attention to each other. Well, it it could happen, right? It could happen, not really kind of believable for each case, but could happen. Inter and interesting that uh, um, there is no identification when you go to the bus, right? Driver said, my business is low, so I just count the heads, that's enough. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and the teacher Lee reminded us of something that the driver only noticed the beautiful lady. You know, it was a good. <laughs> nice I know she was on the bus. <laughs> uh, she was very pleased to hear that. But it's understandable. I, I would say that lady was inappropriately dressed for a snow snow storm, right? So yeah, she... really, really, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. We, can, we can understand this. And I saw it for a bit. Usually, when you buy tickets, let's say on train on a or on a bus in USA, do you? Sh do you need to show some identification? No. Show sure, what ID? No. Some ID? No. So we just not, go not for a yeah, not for a bus. Yeah. So it's different in many countries. So I know that in Spain, when I buy tickets, I have to, for train, I have to show my passport. I don't know why, but in the same in Russia, I remember it's the same in Turkey. because you are Russian. <laughs> <laughs> you look Russian. Let's see your passport. <laughs> but, but the same was in Turkey. The same was in Russia. So in many countries, you have to show your ID. I don't know why. <laughs> Just to control you, probably. Again, we use a driver's license, but they don't write it down. They just look at it and say, okay, you know. But normally for buses and trains, no ID. 
Yeah. It's just airports because of 9-11. But when you go to a bus, in a bus, you keep your ticket. Yeah. Do you keep your ticket, Teacher Lee? Right, but it doesn't have your name on it. Yes, but, uh, you know, in this episode, they could ask, ask for the ticket. Do you oh, have yeah. one with you? Yeah. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> yeah. Maybe, maybe a long time ago, they didn't give tickets. A long time ago, there's usually a, a, a coin machine at the, by the driver. You just walk in and put in a quarter and you go sit down. So it might have been that kind of a, mm. a thing a long time ago. Well, Vasan, so what about India? Do you have to show, do you have to present your ID if you travel in India? No, uh, you don't have to, except in airports, you know, yes. Yeah, airports. In are all airports. Have, yeah, and, and in our country, we have a conductor, you know, mm -hmm. uh, along with the driver. So the conductor would give you a ticket and he will come to your place and uh, collect money and give you a ticket. It, it's our practice. So. Yeah. 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 <laughs> And what about trains in India? Is the ticket free or, you know, because there is a lot of people on the trains, even on the roof? Hanging <laughs> uh, no, on the uh, outside, yeah. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but in railway systems, uh, the monitoring uh, is very less. Uh, so you can go uh, overboard you know, uh, without any ticket. Uh, yeah, <laughs> That's why uh, it, it happens in, in northern India. Yeah. <laughs> well, the entire train has only if, uh, a couple of uh, tickets checkers so it it's uh hard to check each and everyone uh whether they have ticket or not so <laughs> yeah so many people sneak in and and um, travel without a ticket uh, so the, the trains don't have conductors because the, that must be a very horrible job to do <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah more people on the outside of the train than the inside and, of yeah. the train and you cannot stop the uh, train and uh, you know get them uh, uh kick them out of the train so yeah. it's it's hard thing. <laughs> yeah, I, I read somewhere that it's not so, sometimes only uh, kind of sometimes you have to ask permission. Let's say in China to move between provinces. <laughs> so it's not like only present your ID. You just to uh, have to apply like a foreign visa, right? So I'm traveling to my uh, father's home. <laughs> Give me permission. Yeah. To do. Yeah. Yeah, in China, when you're born in a certain area, you stay in that area, you go to college in that area, you don't move from that area. It's it's pretty bad. <laughs> Hard to imagine. But... Okay, let's move forward. Uh, Vasan, could you help us with number two? Suspicion and paranoia. As suspicion grows among the diners' occupants, how do the interactions change? And discuss how the episode uses suspicion and paranoia to drive the plot and develop the characters. Okay, yes, and each and every one started to uh, suspect the others, uh, even though the the couple uh, started to uh, yeah, suspect uh, <laughs> her partner. Um, yeah, uh, and yeah, it, yeah. it made them, you know, panic, and uh, they started to think that somebody else among them, you know, living among them. But no no one could say who was the outsider. So okay. the, the investigation goes on. Uh, but uh, everybody seemed to be, you know, uh, seemed to pretend that they were in the bus. Uh, but one person was lying. Uh, the policeman couldn't identify who was lying. There was no solid evidence. Yep. And uh, I, I'm glad that you noticed this couple. It was really weird, right? Like yeah. <laughs> the lady said, you know, I bet you had a mole on your mole on your chin or something like this. <laughs> well, I would divorce at, 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 uh, divorce her at this moment. Like this is this moment. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, suddenly you're, you're, you suddenly notice something you never noticed before. I don't remember seeing that scar there, you know. <laughs> It doesn't take much to cause doubt. <laughs> <laughs> really strange, yeah. Okay, let's go to the next one. Vova, could you help? Please read the third one. Um, so, so here we go. Without giving a basic twist, how does the <clears throat> episode build up to Rebellion the Martian? Discuss how this reveal affects your understanding of the characters and the reactions 
So out, so as... out the episode. <clears throat> so, uh, the bridge. Yeah, let, let's understand the question. So, question is kind of wordy but not clear. So, without giving away the twist, so we should not reveal the, the twist, right? So, how does the episode build up, build up to reveal the Martian? Discuss how this reveal affects your understanding of the characters and their reactions throughout the episode. So, who are these characters? That we learn. Two couples. Two couples. Uh, a lady. Mm -hmm. Some grandpa. Some kind of old and weird man, right? Strange, strange looking man. Right. I, I think they made it deliberately, right? With a with a huge eyes, so they put him to make us think that he is a Martian, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and who and who else? Uh some businessman yeah businessman right who was was very unhappy right because of this delay yeah so how they behaved who was really strange who was uh, out of you know suspicious um the grandpa didn't care mm -hmm. <laughs> it was just fun for him uh and the others and the businessman uh, was very upset. Very upset. Very and good. angry. And angry. Yeah. What was your candidate? Uh, the lady <laughs> or the grandpa? <laughs> so you saw the lady would be a Martian, right? Why? I don't know. <laughs> you, you know, actually, I saw the lady. The lady was my suspect as well. And I saw the first one, she was dressed inappropriately. And I saw it's kind of a disgust, you know, to to make people think that, you know, it's not me. <laughs> so, but but the bus driver saw her get on the bus before they got there. So yeah, that exactly. kind of clears her. So we can say that she had an alibi, alibi, right? Alibi, yep. Alibi. She had an alibi. <laughs> okay. Sergey, what were, what was your suspect, Sergey, at the beginning? For me, I saw uh, about uh, a cup of cup. Uh, cup. I think uh, maybe uh, one uh, old lady, maybe the uh, young lady, maybe. But the second place uh, was a uh, beautiful lady. <laughs> I see. But the one moment, what the one moment uh, in the uh, uh, before the leaving uh, a group uh, from uh, this cafe, uh, it was a strange for me when uh, the coffee guys uh, asked uh, uh, how many uh, cup of coffee uh, did you take? 12, 12 cup of coffee for me. It's true. <laughs> I, I like coffee so much, but I can't uh, take 12 coffee in one or two years, two hours. Yeah. It, it, it can put you to a coma, right? Or something. I, I thought he yeah. might have been I thought he might have been exaggerating, but who knows? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Gerard, could you please take the last one for us? Themes of identity and otherness. <laughs> What do you think the episode says about says about identity, identity, otherness, and the fear of the unknown? Discuss discuss how these themes are explored through the characters' suspicions and the reveal of the Martian. Yeah, very very good question. You will say <laughs> complicated question. Yeah, let's reward it in a way, right? Identity, let's... otherness. Otherness, what does what does mean otherness, Teacher Lee? Different, different than a human. Ah, well, here uh, I'm surprised that they suspect that the Martian is is like a human and speaks English and <laughs> yeah. is praying. And how, yeah. how do they know that he's, he's from Mars? <laughs> <laughs> the universe is very big. <laughs> right. So the the point is when you make aliens look like humans. How can you tell they're different? So in this show, the Martian had one unique characteristic and the Venusian, the person from Venus, had one unique characteristic. So that's otherness. <laughs> I think the Venusian has a third eye and the, yeah. the, the, the guy from Mars, what did he have? He had three arms. 
Huh. Three, I'm okay, okay. I, <laughs> I saw like, the episode. Like, like Alec Baldwin in the Hulu commercial. <laughs> Do you remember he fell from the bridge, right? Um, to the water, and he did not under understand what is to be wet. I saw it it's because on the Mars there is no water, as they say. <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah, he knows all this advanced vocabulary. He can talk, 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 and he doesn't know what wet means. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. without, without water, there is no life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it, interesting. Well, the episode is pretty, I would say, na naive. Can I say so? So what the chances are, you know, that the only bar in the yours, <laughs> on the yours, has two aliens at the same time? And, you know, all this, well, I, I, I don't have any explanations, right, to this, but... <laughs> it's a Twilight Zone. Yeah. It's a Twilight Zone. Yeah. Yeah. Beyond zone. imagination. Anything can happen in the Twilight Zone. <laughs> 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 what are you doing here? Oh, everybody else died. I'm the only one that lived, and I'm, I'm I look normal, right? No scratch, no dirt, no dust. You're not even wet. The bridge <laughs> collapsed. Why aren't you wet? <laughs> <laughs> and also, the funniest part is when the bar bartender or barman, you know, took off his um, cap, the third eye. Yeah, yeah. So right. The cook. I would say that for a moment I saw that there will be a twist and Martian will be not in the bus, he will be a bartender or something. So I, I waited for this, but it did not happen. So it was, a, what was what the name again, teacher Lee? Venezuelan? Venusian. 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 Oh, hard work. <laughs> yeah. Venusian. So the, the businessman was, the old man businessman was the Martian, wasn't he? Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, yeah, he, it, if you watch him at the very end, he's getting coffee. He's got three hands. One yeah. hand is holding a cigarette. One hand is holding <laughs> a lighter. The other hand is doing something else. So he actually had three hands while he was talking. And the and the Venusian guy's looking at him like, okay, you got three hands. So what? You know, I got three <laughs> eyes. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm trying to share the screen with three, three arms. There we, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> Sergey, yeah. please. Yeah, and uh, we uh, got to use to live with two hands. Uh, do you want to have the additional hand? <laughs> I think it's uh, it will be uh, very con convenient. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I would like to, Sergey. Actually, I, I would like to, because I have two my arms on keyboard and I need another one on my mouse. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Another thing at the end here is is what we call one upsmanship. One upsman. Yep. They're trying to outdo each other. Yeah. Oh, I yeah, I tricked those stupid humans. Yeah. Oops. We're gonna destroy the earth, you know, take over the earth. Well, you know, I tell you what, you know. We wiped out your ship and we're going to take over the earth, you know? So it's like, who's going to take over the earth? <laughs> the Martian got real smug. And then the other guy said, oh, we wiped out your, your ship. We're going to take over the earth now. <laughs> I think I was involved into this very, very, very often when I was young. So I can jump one meter long. Wow. I can jump two yeah. meters long. I can jump over the house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We got a ship coming. Oh yeah, we killed. We shot. We saw your ship. We shot it down. We got a bigger ship coming. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. good. Okay. So let's make some slides for this episode before we forgot everything. Sergey, could you please describe this slide? <clears throat> yeah, uh, we can see two guys. Uh, one uh, police officer and uh, bus driver. And uh, in the uh, left side, we can see the music machine. Uh, it was a very popular, as I know, maybe I'm wrong, uh, in the old style America. And uh, you uh, could put one coin and uh, you could uh, choose uh, the song uh, uh, in this machine. In this machine, uh, use the uh, uh, vinyl, uh, vinyl discs. Uh, mm -hmm. for playing and uh, for me it looks like very uh 
very stylish, very old stylish. And uh, I like this. I like those types of machine because uh, now uh, this machine uses for making some interior like in uh, the old America. And uh, in the center of this, the table, we can see the uh, box with uh, 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 sulfetic Nap napkins. Napkins. Na uh, box with uh, napkins. napkins and uh, the I don't know how it name uh, for sugar and uh, the place for cigarettes. And uh, I know yeah. uh, yeah. in the old American you could uh, smoke inside the restaurant. So I will say that it is ashtray and sugar bowl. Can I say sugar bowl? Yeah, sugar bowl is okay. Yeah. And there is yeah. a map, right? Map on the, on the wall. Yeah. I don't know why it's here. And the, the tel telephone apparat. Yeah, on the wall as well, right? With this disc number, how we call it? I don't know. Disc number two. Rotary, Rotary dial. Code. Rotary Rotary means in a circle. Yep. yep. For the so, younger people here, there's not many of us young, Layla. Well, Layla's part of the youngest. I don't know. Maybe Sergey. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, usually, for, for information, when I was in the Russian army, I worked as a uh, connection engineer and uh, I uh, repaired uh, the telephone uh, apparatus with a uh, rotary force and uh, okay. I repaired the, uh, uh, the center of uh, DL uh, where uh, the other phone number connection. Yeah, the switchboard. Yeah, switchboard. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Actually, I had my I... daddy's rotary huh? telephone. I had my daddy's telephone. Okay. I am keeping Okay. Back yeah. in the old days, we didn't have cell phones. Yep. Telephones existed in two places. You had one in your house connected to a wire. Mm -hmm. We call that a landline today. And you had pay phones. When you left the house, you had no phone. If you had a problem, you had to go someplace that had a pay phone and use that to call home. So every gas station and every restaurant always had a pay phone. And you, you had to put in a dime, 10 cents yeah. to for a phone call. So you put in a dime and then you can call your number or you can call the operator. You know, so uh, this is the old days. People today can't imagine that you only had a phone in your house. Or you had to go someplace that had a phone to make a call. So you know, pay yeah. phones were ubiquitous back then. Now you don't see them much anymore. I'm very expensive. You remember, teacher? They were expensive. Well, a dime. For local calls, they were cheap. Uh, if you local... had to call to a different city, you paid more money. Yeah. Mm. When Please I was deposit a... one quarter. Yeah. When I was a student, I did not have my uh, cell phone. It, it wasn't invented yet. So yeah. I called my father once a week on Sunday and to make it more cheap I have to move to a special building which called kind of intercity connection center or something so it was cheaper wow. to call from there than from just a ordinal phone so yeah. <laughs> then we can talk like for five minutes <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, was, and, it was cheaper and when I when I was away from home working uh they used to charge you more money during the daytime when everyone's yeah. on the phone line. So it was cheaper for me to call my wife after 9 p.m. Wow. So, so after 9 wow. p.m., I would call my wife and we would talk on the phone because the phone rates were cheaper then. Yeah. 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 And how how is everything changed, right? We can we can we can have Zoom conversation for nothing, right? For 24 yeah. hours. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it used to be a dollar a minute to call overseas. Very expensive. Yeah. Yeah. Uh in in the army, I uh, saw a special department where a lady uh, can, uh, has the special wires and connection, and uh, you could uh, call to this lady and uh, you ask them, uh, "Lady, please uh, connect me to the." to this Khabarovsk on Yekaterinburg, on to Miami. And uh, they connected uh, with the wires. And it was very old stylish, and uh, but it's work uh, now I saw. 
Mm -hmm. Like an army uh, connection. <laughs> yeah, for, uh, for security purposes. Uh, for a long IP. time ago, you know, we dial zero, we dial O for operator. Tick, 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 yeah. tick, 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 tick. Uh, a long time ago, only women did that job. I don't know why, but switchboard operators, the ones that plug in the phone connections, like uh, Sergey was talking about, they were all women, and we called mm -hmm. them switchboard operators or just operator. <laughs> There's an old song that's titled Operator, <laughs> and it's about a drug addict in California, and he's trying to call home and lie to him and tell him he's okay. He's he's quit using illegal drugs. <laughs> uh, so he puts a dime in the payphone and he says, Operator, please help me make this call. And he's talking to the operator during the song. And at the end of the song, at the end of the song, he says, uh, you know, they don't want to talk to me anyway. You know what? Thank you very much, operator. You've been very kind to me. Keep my dime. <laughs> it's a cute song. Yeah, good one. Okay, let's be change the slide. Lola, could you find some here? Uh, this handgun? Situ uh, uh, this... On the bar, I would say. On the bar. Hmm? So, the seller? Mm -hmm. Bartender? Huh? Bartender. Mm -hmm. What is on the wall or behind him? Menu. I think so, yeah. It's a menu on the left, right? Yeah. On the right, there is some uh, apple pie for 15 cents and something for 35 cents, I, I guess. 15 cents? Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, some cupboards. Mm -hmm. Do you think on the right is a coffee machine? Yeah, we call that a coffee urn. Or mm -hmm. it makes a large amount of coffee and it has a glass tube so you can see how much coffee is inside of it. I see. So you make like five pots at one time mm -hmm. and, and use a little dispenser to pour the coffee out. Oh, oh, do you know how we call this necktie on the bartender? Uh, bow tie. Bow tie? Yeah. In, in Russian, some, but by some, reason, by some reason, we call it like butterfly tie or something. <laughs> oh, okay. We have two wings. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the cowboys wore, it was more like a string, like you tie with your shoe. We call that a string tie. String tie, yeah. But this one's a bow tie. And mm -hmm. then you have the necktie. The regular one, we just call a necktie. Now, this guy's hat is a special kind of hat. If you take it off, you can fold it flat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we call this a crew cap. It's a military <laughs> cap. And the reason they make this kind of cap for the military is you can fold it flat and you can put it in your belt and fold it over your belt. So you can carry it on your belt real easy to have your hands free and the wind's not blowing your hat off and things like that. So mm -hmm. we call that a crew cap. You can take it off and fold it flat. It's like a boat, right? Like a boat, yeah. Yvonne. You can turn it upside down. It looks like a boat in the water. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think we have the same kind of style, crew cap. I, I didn't know this name, but we, we have them. And But we don't put it under the belt in military. We put it under this shoulder. Shoulder strap. Yeah. Strap, yeah. Shoulder yeah, strap. Shoulder. Okay, yeah. And yeah. mostly it's not for, uh, you know, it's mostly for uh, those who has who have helmets, like in the tank or in wow. airplane. So if you have helmet, you need to have small kind of head, right? So crew uh, head, it's a small. Uh, oh, yeah. okay. We didn't use it for that, but okay. Yeah. I see. But I it, it was more of a working cap. It wasn't a dress cap. You know, the dress mm -hmm. cap's the nice, pretty round one yeah, with the... Yeah bill but this was more of a working cap yep yeah i think the purpose of this cap is this guy is a cook so the hair doesn't fall in in the yeah. food <laughs> yeah on the food and yeah, conveniently yeah. you can you can pull it forward and cover your eye <laughs> <laughs> double function <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. so apple pie for 15 cents i want this time back right <laughs> <laughs> i would be a millionaire here Okay, uh, Leila, do you see something interesting here? I mean, the couple, uh, the old la lady and the, her husband sitting, and it's 
he is the driver, I guess, looking at somewhere. Is it the music started playing in instant? Is it that scene? Uh, I, I'm uh, not sure about the scene, but this I would do. That, I don't know. That's, that's a cigarette machine there. Cigarette machine. Okay. You you have cigarettes in a row and you put money in and you pull a lever and yeah. the cigarette <laughs> pack falls out. Teacher, is it like a, cigarettes one by one or it's an No, it's a pack. It's a small pack. pack. Yeah, I see. So you you pull a lever and that brand falls out. You know, Marlboro, Chesterfield, Winston. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then there's a hat rack next to the machine. So you can hang your hat and your coat on the hat rack. Yep. Or coat rack. Yeah, and everyone is smoking, of course. Like in the old movies, everyone is smoking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was boring back then. You didn't have anything to do with your hands. Yeah. Teacher Lee. Gotech, could you smoke at this time? Gotech, huh? could you start smoking? Uh, 16? Oh, probably, six, probably 16. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sergey, do we have any restrictions for smoking in Russia by age? Um, yes, we, we have the usual restriction. You can smoke in the restaurant, you can smoke in coffee. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, but I mean age no. restrictions. Oh. Age. I mean, age restrictions. Could could you you know if at twelve years old is smoking? Is there some 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 consequences? As I remember, uh, from the eight eight years, you can smoke maybe. I I, I don't remember any restrictions wow. by age at all. Wow, young. Huh? <laughs> oh, I, I know that you should not sell cigarettes to people under the eighteen. I think you should not sell. But I don't remember that if you smoke, there is any kind of law against this. So I don't remember. Yes, wow. but uh, the now the new age uh, teenagers smoke uh, special devices with uh, uh, paper. I don't know what is it? Uh, what is it? They uh, steam a who? But I I don't like this. Uh, but <laughs> with vapes, yeah, vapes, vapes. And they say those are worse than real cigarettes. I don't know. <laughs> I don't believe that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's move forward. So another couple, right? What else? Mm, sandwich for 15 cents, I can see. <laughs> <laughs> You're hungry, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's, it's on the wall. It's a, it's a poster on the wall. <laughs> so you can see back in the old days, coffee cups were always on a saucer. Well, yeah. If you spill the coffee, the saucer keeps the table clean. We yeah. still so we, have. So we hold the saucer, and then we drink from the cup, and we put it back yeah. on the saucer. So mm -hmm. you need two hands to drink coffee sometimes if you're standing up, right? Um, mm -hmm. If you take that saucer and turn it upside down, it looks like a flying saucer. Exactly. Uh. <laughs> the reason we call UFOs flying saucers is because they look like a coffee saucer turned upside <laughs> down. That's why we call them flying saucers. <laughs> this thing is the center. Can I say that it's a coat rack? Looks like a coat rack, yeah. Yeah. Okay, like the, the animal, this animal, a buffalo? Yeah. Buffalo, I see. Looks like a buffalo, yeah. Buffalo. Buffalo, buffalo okay. yeah. And chairs are different, right? On the left, they are wooden and movable, I think. On the right, it's a bar chair, right? Yep, yep. At the the Usually we have a counter and the bar stools, and sometimes they rotate. They're fixed to the floor, and you can spin them around. So you can sit and spin it around to get up, you know? So sometimes they rotate. Yeah. yeah. With my belly, I always have problem with this chair. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You got to sit sideways. Okay. <laughs> Okay, another one. Um, what is here? Help me, please. Um, Beef they stew. were arguing, I guess. <laughs> well, I, I think we describe it almost everything in here, right? So this is, I, I'm trying to remember coffee. Um, I guess those are coffee, coffee urns, I coffee guess. Urn. Yeah, coffee urn. Beef stew today. Today, interesting writing. So it's like... <laughs> <laughs> beef stew is kind of like probably borscht. Yeah, it's so. a soupy, you know, a liquid broth with meat and vegetables and stuff in it. Yeah, pretty good. My wife 
makes it for me sometimes. But I don't like how it's written. So it's two, then kind of a sign, dot, and day. Two, day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so no checks, no no cashed checks, and don't ask for credit. Very strict. Very strict. <laughs> 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 <Trust> for credit. <laughs> Can I pay you later? No. <laughs> Okay, and the last one, right? So, Martian with three arms, saucer, cup, um, napkin. That's a cigarette cigarette pack. Yeah, cigarette pack, right? And Martian looks pretty human, right? So, nothing, no, only hands is is excessive. Sergey, please. Yes, I would like to, uh, the short story about the credit. In the small cities uh, in Russia, we have the... Uh, special uh, tradition because uh, uh, in the 19th, in the, uh, after 2002, we don't have the uh, free cash. We have only uh, one salary per month. And uh, a lot of people went to the shop in the small city and they know the shop assistant. Shop assistant knows uh, other uh, buyers and they have the special books who uh, were as a shop assistant wrote uh, the, uh, some uh, products and okay, uh, Ivan Ivanov bought one bottle of vodka, uh, 10 <laughs> rubles and uh, you have to return these uh, 10 rubles when you have the solar Sorry. and uh, this system uh, workable uh, everywhere I know, but it's fine for me. Yeah, but I think it's more for small villages, right? Not for mega. Yeah, place. only yeah. small villages. Yeah, in small villages you can buy without paying. In small villages you can say like, put it in the book on my name, and they will put it. And once a month at salary day, you will uh, kind of go there and pay your debt. Oh, okay, that's cool. Yeah, we call that on my tab in oh, English. Okay. Put yeah. it on my tab. Good. You hear that in movies a lot. Put it on my tab. Yeah, yeah. But it was not kind of a, a gesture of, I don't know. It was because the population was really poor. So yeah. it, it was the only way to, you know, to 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 keep selling them the something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not, not a good thing yet. Yeah. Okay, I think that's all about this episode. It was not... Too bad, but I don't think it's a brilliant one, right? So we had much better episodes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's talk about another, the second one. It's a good life. Gerard, could you please start with this first question? Okay, okay. introduction to Pigsville. How is the town of Pigsville introduced? And what unusual circumstances are immediately, are immediately appear, apparent? Discuss the initial indication of Anthony's powers and the town's people's fear. Yeah. So the presenter tells us that in this small village, there is a monster. <laughs> there is a monster. It looks like the small village is like alone. It's separated from other villages, you know, it's not in contact. And they don't have uh, power, they don't have electricity. Mm -hmm. So then they have to make everything. Um, we have, he appears that the cause is this young child, Anthony, mm -hmm. who has the powers with his mind, can do almost anything. And he can kill people or try to convert people to another thing. He can read minds. So he's conditioning the behavior of everybody. Everybody pretends to be happy and they don't want to contradict him. So... They yeah, don't want to piss off him, otherwise they could be killed. Because he acts according to his whims. Yeah, I remember in the very beginning, they show us a lady, right? It said that she used to like to sing, but she's not singing anymore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and what else? And she, uh, and he, the Anthony, the guy, he killed some living creature. I don't remember, a dog or someone else, right? In the very beginning. So he has... What we call X power, right? Or extraordinary power, something. X Everything power. that uh, annoys him as lightly, he, he kills. Or, yeah. <laughs> or, he, or he transports uh, to another place. You know, the cornfield, I don't know how he, this place. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. It was a gopher, as you write it, uh, as you wrote, a gopher, right? It's a... Two heads, three heads. So he kind of mutates the creatures to look horrible. 
Okay, let's move forward. Vasan, could you, could you help us with number two? Control and fear. How do Anthony's abilities affect the daily lives and behavior of the town people? Discuss examples of how fear controls their actions, speech, mm -hmm. and even thoughts. Okay. Yep. Uh, because the boy didn't want anybody to grunt or something like that. Is that the right word to grunt or uh, to say something bad about the, any anything? Um, he doesn't like any negative, you know, uh, opinions, uh, a negative feel, uh, sad feelings, and everything. So he wanted everything, everybody say good things about what he does. So. Everybody started to panic, and, and if they don't obey, then he would kill them and wish them to be in a cornfield, I think. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so uh, they want if they want to be alive, so they have to keep him, you know, uh, happy and, and pleasant, uh, so to say pleasant things. <laughs> Yeah, I like this thing that teacher you wrote in the chat. Walk on the on eggshells, right? Walk on mm -hmm. eggshells. So eggshells they are fragile, right? You can crush them, so yeah. you have to be really <laughs> so delicate. Yeah. So you, you watch what you say, you walk real quiet, don't upset him, <laughs> don't break anything. <laughs> yeah, and, and the actors were so you know, yeah, they were very good and uh, they could express the, uh, the both feeling, you know, when they were saying good things in their dialogue, but their face expression clearly explain, you know, uh, indicates that they are afraid of something. Uh, yeah, they, they did a very good job. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Reminds me of the liberals today. You can't offend them. You can't say anything <laughs> they don't want to hear. <laughs> But I like, really, as Vasan mentions, I realize that, that we understand that people, what they talk, talk it's not what they mean, right? So yeah. They, yeah. We, can, we can understand this. It's not like they are happy. <laughs> there is something more about this. <laughs> it's interesting. Okay, Vova, could you please, number three? Uh, the consequences of power. Reflect on the ways Anthony uses his powers throughout the episode. What does this action tell us about the nature of power when unchecked and the importance of accountability? Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so he first he made the gopher with three heads. Yeah. He, uh, he, uh, his father mentioned he just wished mm -hmm. and he uh, uh, he did something with a dog. He wished her away. Yeah, to the poor you know. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Uh, and he did with uh, some men in the village when yeah. he was offended. Yeah, so what do you think? Is it Anthony a good boy or a bad boy? Bad. Yeah, it's obvious, right? But why people allow him to be a bad boy? Because he can wish them away. <laughs> <laughs> he can wish them away, right? Because he has power and uh, on them, right? He can apply kind of power on them. He can punish them. So it's called, I think in this question, it's called unchecked power, right? So you cannot kind of criticize it. You cannot restrict this power, right? Power yeah. on all you. Yeah. And as teacher wrote the same, right? We, 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 we repeat this many times, absolute power corrupts absolutely, right? So if if nobody restricts you, right? Why why to be, I don't know, reasonable? I can do whatever I want, right? If, yeah, if exactly. I have absolute yeah. power. And we can see this in, the, in this uh, episode. Do you agree? Yeah. The ruler I, of Russia comes to mind. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> A good example, I think. <laughs> and China, and China, yeah. Yeah. There are many, actually, there are many kind of dictatorships now in, in the world, right? So we can mention Iran, for example, and many others, right? So there are many places in which absolute power kind of spoil everything. And yeah. sometimes it's not a political power, right? Sometimes it's kind of 
freedom of speech in many places, as you mentioned, right? So you, we cannot say many things, you know, why? Just because. Just because I can force you not to do this. That's all. Yeah. 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 Kind of a sad topic, I would say. <laughs> no more master and slave drives in the IT industry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's it's impossible. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, let's move forward. Leila, what do you think about number four? Isolation. The first thing I want to say, I didn't like the boy. For the first <laughs> time, for the first time in my life, I didn't like a child. I love every every child in this world. <laughs> He's so irritating. Did you like? I mean, he's. I mean, he's a very good choice for this act, you know. Yeah. I couldn't look at his eyes for a long time. Believe me, <laughs> so irritating. <laughs> no. Well, Lela, I would say that you have a very good life and very good experience because I met so many bad uh, child in my life. You know that uh, I cannot say that I love every one of them. <laughs> no, I try to be tolerant with children, even though I don't like them. But this boy, you know, so irritating one, makes me feel tense and uh, I'm a bit afraid of them. Mm -hmm. Normally it's not my normal feelings, you know? <laughs> anyway, Pix will uh, is isolated from the red. Yeah, this is because of him. And uh, Anthony, um, if I'm not wrong, uh, has uh, built a kind of television and uh, he didn't want them to listen to the radio, to <laughs> watch real television, you know. Uh, he's in control of everything. Yeah. And I hate just, you know, hearing good day, good day, good day. It's a good day. It is very cold. It is a very good hot day. I mean, you want? I oh, didn't want to hear the word "good" for some time. <laughs> so I didn't understand how the teams of control and fear amplified, uh, strengthened his uh, him. How? I don't know. Well, the drunk guy had the right idea. You know, kill the guy, yeah. hit, the, hit the kid on the head from behind him while I'm distracting him. You know, yeah. I'm drawing his anger. Kill the guy. Yeah. Okay. okay. But they wouldn't do it. Yeah. Yeah, but it's interesting how it's kind of related to uh, to this tyranny that we see in real world, right? So it's usually isolated. It's usually no freedom of speech, right? People are scared. So. It's it's it seems like you know on on every scale, right? From the small to the big one, it's all the same. <laughs> and even also, if they just are afraid of him this much, why they go to their place, even if they are invited to the party? I mean, I if I were them, I wouldn't go. Yeah, I say yeah. We, we say out of my out of sight, out of mind. If he doesn't see you. He doesn't think about you. Yeah. <laughs> well, probably there are some kind of explanations, right? Gerard? Another parallelism with the real situation that nobody dares to kill the dictator. And really, it's so interesting, right? When we read the uh, history books, right? We, we, we just don't understand. Like, why no one took this responsibility, right? So one hit, you know, and there is no Adolf Hitler, let's say. <laughs> one hit and there is no Pol Pot or something else, right? So, but now, well, I don't know. It never happens, it seems. <laughs> well, the Indira Gandhi was mm -hmm. killed by her bodyguards, right, Vasant? I read it, yes. yes. Uh, again? Yeah. Indira, Gandhi. Indira, Indira. Indira Gandhi, the woman yes. was killed by her bodyguards, right? Yes, yes, by the bodyguard. That, yes. That's one of the that's one of the few cases where someone all it would take to take out, you know, you know who in Russia is mm -hmm. one general that has guts. <laughs> but they're all afraid, yeah. Yeah, interesting. So but really how uh, 
how it's come, how, how it's kind of similar, right, to, to every scale. So we can see one village with a boy and the big country with a, another tyrant. <laughs> Afghan and... Afghanistan, you know, is a small number of people. They just walked into Afghanistan and said, we're taking over your whole country, people. Okay. Yeah. They're just a bunch of people that walked in and said, we own this country now. And they got away with it. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, unbelievable. It, it must be very difficult to control our feelings. I mean, I just can't. Yeah, but I, I think it's because, you know, people are easy to, to be scared, right? I think so. So we kind of, prob probably we scared more than we should be, right? So so what, what, what would happen uh, if all the adults in this village attack this boy? Probably they would win. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it even happened. his father, he... remember, Ivan? Even his father was afraid of him. Yeah. And we can hear this from the conversation, right, Leo? So he was, as Tisha as Tisha said, walking on eggshell, right? So not trying yeah. to get Yeah. Yeah. Afg Afghanistan, you know, in, in World War II, when the Germans took over France, France had an underground resistance movement that killed yeah. Germans quietly and secretly, you know, mm -hmm. in the dark, you know. I, Afghanistan, those people have never done that. Afghanistan has never, I, I've never heard of a resistance movement that resists the Taliban by trying to kill them, you know, at nighttime or in lone alleys or lonely streets, take their weapons away and fight back. I've never heard Afghanistan do that at all, and I don't understand it. <laughs> In Russia, we have a saying that Middle East is a special thing. It's mean, you know, when you discuss Middle East, you just say it's Middle East and it's you know self self explanatory. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody understands it. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. <laughs> okay, should we answer any more questions from this? I think they are kind of repeated itself, right? Okay, so, but I think we all understood, right, that it's not about a boy. <laughs> it's not about a village. Yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 it, he is the symbol here. He, exactly, he's a yeah. symbol, yes. And it's very, and very recognizable symbol, right? We understand. Maybe, Ivan, I just, this symbol reminds me of somebody, and that's why <laughs> I hate him. In your country? <laughs> no. <laughs> Right. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> okay, let's. Um, well, it's a topic that not so easy to discuss, right? So, but we, yeah, we understand. What I like about Germany, you know, so I went to some. I have been in some museums in Germany, and they they are very kind of uh, blatant about what happened to them. So they kind of, they don't close your eyes on the history. They they present it like it is our fault. So we did this and that it was terrible and let's, you know, focus on on on, on a fact that we should not repeat this. So I, I like this way. So I, I, of course, I have a lot of questions, right, to the past, to the history, but for now, I think they, I like their policy. So they teach this in the school. They don't say, you know, we will underst not understood or we will good or something. They don't try to hide it. They say, we did terrible things, like terrible. There is a numbers why it's terrible. And we did it. So let's not repeat this. I like this. Yeah, I hope <laughs> we will see more examples of this in the future. <laughs> but, but yeah. yeah. Whereas the liberals try to hide bad things, yeah, or they try to stick it in your face, uh, <laughs> and they try to change history. They try to say, "Oh, black soldiers fought in World War II and won the war. Black soldiers did that. White soldiers didn't fight in World War II." I mean, they try to lie about the past and change people's perception of history. I, mm -hmm. I don't understand it, and we let them do it. Yeah, 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 a lot of things. Okay, let's talk about slides. What is on the top? Is it a, for the windometer or something? Windmill. Windmill. Okay. Could it be a water tank? No. It it pumps water, I think. 
into it may it may pump water out for irrigation or it may just pump water to a tank or teacher they maybe keep water warm so what what what, what is interesting for me on this picture you know so i see that the the main house is wooden right made of wood and yes. this I would I don't know what is this, a porch, a garage, or something is is made of stone, which bricks, <laughs> bricks, yeah, bricks, yeah. Doesn't might make be, sense. Might be food storage to keep things cool inside. I'm not sure. I I hadn't seen that before. Yeah, yeah, looks pretty strange. Okay, how we call this sink on the left? Is it a porch or what we or ter terrace maybe? We can. We all are, we always call it a porch, the front porch. Mm -hmm. Porch. It's a small roof to walkway outside the front door. Mm -hmm. There's a chimney for the fireplace, smoke to come out. Chimney. Yeah, yeah we can. That's see. why Santa Claus goes down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, not not much here. So let's not move much. forward. Yeah. Um, Vola, could you please describe this picture? Uh, this is some young man. He turns for from, uh, from the shop. Mm -hmm. Grocery shop, probably. Yeah. And he buys some products. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know how called this how is called this device, black device in the center. I forgot. <laughs> it's an iron, I think. Uh, iron. Yeah. It's old, right, Ivan? It's a wall, I think. So we it's have we have irons today. That's an old style, but we still use irons and ironing boards today. Yeah, but yeah, today, yeah. today irons uh, they are electrical, right? So we heat them with electric with the electricity. Yeah. But this one probably with coal inside or something like this. Or you put it on the stove. Probably hot water. They probably put hot water in it. Maybe yeah. I, I don't know. When I was young, my grandmother had one with a coal inside, and it was like a train, you know, with all this, <laughs> <laughs> with all this heat and uh, smoke from it. So I still remember. Wow. wow. <laughs> okay. Yeah. A few jars, right on the on the right. Well, it's not jars. The south pan or something. Co um, cop copper south pan, I would say. Yeah. South pan. We can see a phone again here so it's not that isolated right so they can call yeah. for the help that little funny earpiece no. yeah 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 roo, 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 roo. Okay. He, operator <laughs> you don't off the electricity ah electricity is off right electricity is off in the village exactly okay so wooden um i don't know box on the cabinet cabinet yeah, cabinet yeah cabinet yeah I seen some greens, right? How we call this green vegetables? Vegetables, yeah. And you know, sometimes you have lettuce. Uh, teacher Lee wrote lettuce, right? Lettuce. 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 Yeah. Lettuce. Another bow tie, right? Not... And it's on the right. It's a stove, right? Probably, I, I guess the white one, maybe or refrigerator or something. Yeah. Okay, a little bit more of the kitchen. Wait, what do you think? What is on the left? Uh could be the cooker. It's a, can, can I say oven or stove? Looks, it looks like a what we call a wood burning stove. You actually put wood inside of it and burn wood for heat. Okay, stove, yeah. right? Yeah, stove. And uh, I can see the delivery boy mm -hmm. opening the box, and uh, he keeps. On telling the lady that he has brought some tomato juice or something like that for Anthony mm -hmm. because he's trying to, you know, just um, suppress her, his feelings. And there's this kind of, usually, what is in the middle, just behind the lady? It's a kind of cooker or cabinet. We would call it a cabinet. That's probably where she keeps the dishes up in the top. Probably the okay. dishes are kept up there. I can see the drawers. Mm -hmm. And uh, as uh, Ivan told before, sugar bowl, I could see. I could see some mm, oil. Oh, yeah, oil and vinegar and other yeah. cook, cooking stuff, I guess. Cooking oils, I don't know. 
Yeah. Well, it's oh. a good kitchen. I like it. Yeah. The box has hand holes in it to hold the box. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, we still we still have this uh, boxes, you know. So there are so many green movement now. So they they told you uh, they tell us uh, not to buy these packages, you know, plastic packages. So there are boxes, many many kind of you know, carton and wooden. And the like, uh, lady is wearing an uh, apron. A a yeah, we call it apron. 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 <laughs> we have a. The apron you tie behind you like a shoestring, you tie it around your waist. We call those apron strings. <laughs> when, a, when a small child follows mama around everywhere like baby ducks behind mama duck, we say the kid is tied to her apron strings. Yeah. Wherever but she goes, the kid goes. <laughs> I don't like it anyway, but mommy used to have flowery ones and it was my favorite. <laughs> Okay. Gerard, could you find something here? Yes, this is the lovely boy, Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet Anthony. I yeah, think... he looks lovely on this page. <laughs> a bowl, she a bowl and a jar of water. I think it's to wash hands. Mm -hmm. yep. The bed. I think this man must must be this man must be his father, Anthony's father. Yep. Yeah. Yep. yep. We can see a lamb. In the center, mm -hmm. fireplace. Fireplace. Yep. What more? A yeah, chair yeah. with some clothes. Yeah. How we call paper wall, right? Wall, wall paper, paper wall. Yes. Wall, wall, wall paper. paper. Yeah. Wall paper. Yeah. And, and uh, I like this uh, style of the bed, right? So it's probably iron steel, or how we call or it. Or maybe wood. Yeah. Probably wood back then. We call yeah. that a footboard, and sometimes there's a headboard. Footboard, a headboard. Wood, wood. Wood to know. Okay, let's switch one. Okay, the cinema. <laughs> right? Sergey, would you like to the find TV. something here? Uh, it's a uh, uh, room. Uh, the group of people uh, sat uh, in front of uh, TV, and uh, looks like a cinema. Uh, seen the house, and uh, we can see the chair. We can see uh, two persons uh, who sat uh, under the chair, and uh, a lot of people uh, make uh, happy faces, and they uh, talk to, to a little boy. Yes, it's the best television from the little boy. <laughs> As the old stylish television was bad. Now the television is brilliant. <laughs> and uh, and uh, we can see the sofa uh, uh, above, uh, not above. Sofa behind, behind. Yeah, behind the group of people and uh, the uh, usual interior for old old uh, houses. Yeah, and I like the word usually wrote bani banister, right? Banister. Yeah. Banister. So it's the sink on the uh, stairs, right? So you have can... the handrail with the thing. We we call that the banister. Yeah. Banister. Yeah. We, Old we... TVs were big boxes that sat on the floor. Mm -hmm. So we call those console TVs. You don't see those much anymore. They all hang on the wall now. Yeah. Actually, probably you did not have this. We have them in Russia. You know, we have a small TV, and then we have a a lens kind of a gla glass with lens and you have to put water in this so it make it bigger you know so i will find i will try to find the picture so the tv set is small but before because there is a lens be behind he, it you can see it's kind of bigger so it's a, yeah so show me that i've never heard of that before that's different <laughs> okay for <laughs> <So> the technology <laughs> back then <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, okay. Do you remember this uh, TV set? With, uh... Yes, sure. Uh, <laughs> we uh, this TV called uh, KVN. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It was a name, Russian name. Yeah, for this. Okay, thank you very much. I enjoyed discussion. I enjoyed this episodes. Unfortunately, guys, I have to ask for an excuse. I I will be traveling next two Sundays at all. So could we please postpone it? I will travel it in different destination, but it's usually hard for me to manage the class from hotel or something so so let's skip a few 
And I will try to find two better episodes this time. I will have time. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and Ivan. Yeah. Yeah. I've got a couple movie recommendations in the group, Ivan. Great, great. Let's let's take them right without episode. Let's make a break. Let's make a break. Yeah. Sure. Thank you, teacher. Lee. Thank you, my friends. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Thank you. See you. Bye bye bye. Bye everyone.